Hi, this is Russell Smith, retired police chief and author of The Gun That Wasn't There. This true crime account with an introduction by award-winning western writer Elmer Kelton basically details four years in the life of a bandit that terrorized parts of the Texas Hill Country around Concan, Garner Park, Lake E. Valdi area, and then out in West Texas in Valverde and Terrell counties around Pumpville, uh, Dryden, and Sanderson. But today, I'm going to talk about one of the photographs, one of the 20 that is within this book. This photograph is from the Del Rio News Herald. And there's two things I'd like to share with you. This is, uh, as we look here at L.H. Purvis, the Texas Ranger on the left, and Samuel Perez, the Valverde County Deputy on the right. These men went into a cave looking for the bandit. And what they found there is all these different things on the floor. And But one thing I want you to notice is the hand drill in the middle in the back. During the research, I learned that Deputy Dalton Hogg received a call from a lady and she said, that somebody had drilled a hole at the end of her bathtub in her wall. Now back then those houses just had one wall. They didn't have insulation or an interior wall necessarily. But somebody had drilled a hole in her wall and this corroborated uh, this, this, these items were found uh, not far from Pumpville in a cave and uh, where she lived wasn't too far from where they were uh, found as well. So that's one of the things I wanted to show you. Uh, of course you see his mask when he did these arm robberies. And you see items and m many of these items came from the general store at Pumpville, the Bradford store. The next thing I'd like to show you is something I didn't even know until after the book was published. But it's about the jewelry in those boxes that is being held by those two law enforcement officers. You know, I took this and showed this book to a lot of the people to help me, and one of them was uh, Pearl Rutherford's daughter. Uh, Pearl Rutherford and her husband ran the Happy Hollis store over 150 miles away from where this stuff was found. And that day, her daughter said, Oh, look, you have the picture in the book, the one that shows my mother's jewelry. So... Early on in the book, you read about the exploits of this guy around Uvalde, or mainly Conkin, Garner Park, and Happy Hollow area along the river and up and down 83. But after the book is published, I learned that the jewelry is actually in that picture. Pretty remarkable, isn't it? The gun that wasn't there is available on Amazon.com and, of course, Kindle. And in San Angelo, Texas, where I live, at the Cactus Bookshop, Eggemeyer's General Store, Hastings Music and Books, and Field and Stream Supporting Goods.